let me show you a very easy two step process how you can move your blogger website to WordPress. You can see this is my blogger website. We have some blog posts on this website, some pages and categories. And all the posts got some images. And this is my WordPress fresh installation. Step 1. To export all the content from the blogger website and save it into a file. Step 2 will be to import all that content into WordPress using that file. For step 1, log into your blogger account. Then click on settings and scroll the page. Close to the end of this page, you will find this option manage blog. And now we need to click here on backup content. And then we'll see this pop up. The content backup include posts, pages and comments. So click on download. And you can see here this blog file is downloaded. This is a XML file. So now step two, we'll go to WordPress dashboard. If you do not know how to install WordPress or how to set up a hosting and domain name, I created a very easy video about it. You can check the description of this video or check the top eye link. So once you finish installing WordPress on your hosting, then you can follow this tutorial from here. So in step two, we are going to import that file we just downloaded. You can see this is a file we downloaded from the blogger.com. So now in WordPress dashboard, we will hold on tools and then click on import. And you'll see this first option blogger. In my case, I have this option run importer because I already installed the blogger importer. In your case, you will see option here install now like this one. So once you click here on install now, you will see this option run importer. Now click on run importer and then click on browse and choose the XML file we downloaded from blogger.com. So I select this file and then click on open. Then click on upload file and import. Now you can see it will ask to import the author. I highly recommend you to use this option. Do not change the blog author because it might change your SEO rankings. So now click on submit. Now you can see all done have fun. So if I go back to post now, you can see all the four blog posts are imported. If I check a blog post here, you can see featured images imported and titles imported. Even the demo content I added on that post is also imported. If I go to categories, you can see we have two categories, health and sports are imported, which are called labels on blogger.com. And if I show you the WordPress website, it was something like this before, which was a fresh WordPress installation. If I refresh the page, you can see now all the blog posts are imported with their featured images. So congratulations, you have successfully imported blog website to WordPress. But now very important thing, how you keep the SEO of blog website to new WordPress website. So we are going to do this really easy steps. And before I show you how to keep the SEO, I want to show you when you imported your blog website, it looks something like this, which is not the best design. I created a very easy tutorial and how you can make your website looking something like this using the free generate press theme. So if you want to make your WordPress website look something really nice like this, Check the description of this video. That tutorial is very easy tutorial for beginners. And you can have a complete look of your website, something like this, with some social icons on the right side. And before we move further, I would like to tell you that if you want to support a small creator like me on YouTube, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel because all these videos are free and also subscribing to the channel is free. And that will really boost my morale and I will understand that you guys are learning something new. You are earning more money by creating these blogs or you are just learning a lot of tips and tricks by which you are serving your client to create websites. So I would highly appreciate if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is totally free. Okay, coming back to keeping the SEO. So now we'll go back to the WordPress admin panel and then we'll hold on settings and we click on permalinks. And you can see here currently the permalinks, which is another way to say how the URL look like. You can see the URL of the WordPress website which says year, month, date, and the name of the post. And if we see one blog post on our blogger website, you can say it says year, month, and the name of the blog post .html. So what we'll do, we'll go back to permalinks. Instead of day and name, we'll select month and name. So now our blog will have year, month, and the name of the blog post. One thing to notice here, we do not have .html in the end, like we have on blogger website, which is a real nice thing because search engine loves the URL which do not have .html and don't worry to remove .html from the URLs 
because that is a good thing to do. So once you selected month and name, scroll the page and click on save changes. And now let's see how you can redirect to keep all the SEO from blogger post to your WordPress post. For example, if somebody come to this post on a blogger website, best football player of all time, they will redirect it to the same blog post on the WordPress website. To do that, we are going to install a very simple plugin, hold on plugins and click on add new. If you are new to WordPress, you don't know what is a plugin, I create so many informational videos for you guys. You can check the description of the video, learn WordPress in no time. Search here blogger to WordPress. And then we are going to use the second plugin blogger to WordPress. Click on install now. Once installed, click on activate. Now the plugin is activated. You can go to tools over here and then click here blogger to WordPress redirection. So click on start configuration and you can see it already found the URL of our blogger website which is voicenewlatest.blogspot.com. So now click on get code and you will see this code here. What you need to do, click here and all the text will be selected and then right click and copy this text here. Now go back to blogger website and click on theme and then from a customize click here switch to first generation classic theme. You will see this notice switch to first generation classic theme, switch without a backup, switch with backup. So just in case to keep things safe click backup and switch. You can see now we have this file downloaded and this file for the theme we are using on the blogger website. So once we have these two files, we can always restore our blog website. So now you can see if you're happy with download backups, go ahead and switch to new theme for your blog. So we click on switch. Okay, the theme is switched. Now we click on edit HTML. So what we'll do now, we'll select all this text from here until the end. And then we'll delete everything. And what we'll do, we'll right click and we'll paste the code we got from the plugin and then click on save. So now if I visit my blogger website, which is the old URL, you can see I'm redirected to the new website. And this was the blog post of the old blogger. If I copy this URL and I open a new tab, you can see it take me to the right blog post on the WordPress website. And now you import all the content. If you want to make your WordPress website looking something like this, check out this video on screen. And if you want to know why you should go to wordpress.com and make more money, check out this other video on screen.